You're not too bad. I'll have to hand that to you. You're not as good as the people in Galway the other night, I might add. They practically did the show for us. We had great fun. They sang along, they clapped along. They were a good bunch out there. I think we should import them, Tommy. Of course, there was a bar in that place out there too. You know, that helps. At this time, I'd like to, I'd like to take you back a while in history. Back to the Highlands of Scotland. <laughs> back to a morning morning of April the 16th, the year of 1746. It was a Wednesday morning. It was raining in the highlands of Scotland. No, it was sleet. Sleet was driving into the faces of the highland men, the clans, as they came down to meet a great English force that was coming north over the border. They were coming up an army under the leadership of a man called the Duke of Cumberland. He was known as the Bloody Butcher. He was coming up to wipe out the wild, savage Highlanders. They wanted to put sheep in the place of the Highland men. There was more money in sheep than in human beings. They were going to clear out the Highlands. They came up with the latest in artillery of the time. And that morning, the Highland men came down from the mountains they were led by Prince Charles Stuart, Bonnie Prince Charlie. They came down, in front of each clan was the piper playing the pibroch to give them courage and to frighten the enemy. They came down with their great claymores before them, the great double-bladed swords. And there was father fighting beside son and brother beside brother. They met the English on Culloden's Moor. They were no match for the artillery. The battle only lasted half an hour, maybe three quarters of an hour. And in that time, most of the Highland men were wiped out. And with them, a whole, a whole traditional way of life. Gaelic Scot Scotland was almost forever gone. What was left went out to Nova Scotia. And here's a song about the battle that morning called Sound the Peabrook. Sound the Peabrook loud and high Freight John of Groats to the Isle of Skye Let all your clans with battle cry Arise and follow Pom pom pom, a jim pom pom pom. Rise and follow Charlie. By dark lock shield they may there stand. That small devoted island band. They swore to fight with heart and hand and follow their royal Charlie. Achim, pom, pom, pom. Achim, pom, pom, pom. Achim, pom, pom, pom. Rise and follow Charlie. Why dark color and Spill of gold. Hark how they cry, claim or claim or. Bravely they fight, can they do more than die for Royal Charlie? A chin, pom, pom, pom. A chin, pom, pom, pom. A chin. Such deeds again Deserted now Each highland glen And lonely cairns Are o'er the men Who 
Hey, hey. 